Well, Delta Hawk was founded uh, actually over 20 years ago by three people, Doug and Diane Doors, who are here from Franklin, Wisconsin, and a gentleman named J.P. Brooks, who lives out in the state of Washington. Doug and uh, J.P. were both uh, former military pilots and civilian pilots as well. Doug's also an engineer and Diane had a business background, but they were the three founders of this, this company, uh, again, back 20 years ago. And why did it take so long is, the, is one of the common questions we had. Well, existing avgas engines uh, were literally a product of World War II. Uh, Air-cooled, magnetos, crude fuel systems, and they really have a lot of problems which the industry and pilots have just kind of put up with over all these years. They're plagued with low fuel efficiency, kind of difficult to operate. You can operate the mixture and worry about detonation and shock cooling. Not great altitude performance. And just in general, there's a lot of issues with them. High maintenance as well, where you have to replace the, the cylinders or worry about a lot of things when you're flying an engine. You really have to baby these, these engines. Well, like many visionaries in many companies, Doug and, and Diane and JP thought there had to be a better way. So Doug designed an innovative, very simple, uh, unique design to solve these problems that, that I just talked about. To, and, and the design ended up being very simple, very few parts, but again, easy to operate. So it's easy to start in hot and cold weather. Safe and reliable, uh, low cost of ownership uh, from a fuel efficiency standpoint and a low maintenance standpoint. Um, great performance, both on the ground, climbing, great altitude performance, and, and also solve the problem of gas. Uh, the engine is fueled by jet fuel and jet fuel is available around the world. Ab gas is not leaded or unleaded. It's not available around the world. So, so solve that problem as well. And as, beyond all that, it's a clean technology compared to ab gas engines. So besides being good for general aviation, our engine is good for the environment. Now, I've been flying since 1982. I'm also an engineer. And in 2005, I became aware of this, of this engine, of this company. I met Doug and Diane and said, well, I want to be a part of this for all the reasons we, we just talked about. Now, long before I started, Doug had, had an engine running in less than a year, uh, again, back 20-some years ago. And I think about that, a single individual designing and, and building an engine, and it was running in less than a year. It was only 80 horsepower, you know, had some issues, had durability issues, but still a remarkable achievement. But what none of us anticipated was how hard this was going to be to get done, how long it was going to take. If you think about it, an aviation engine is kind of unique. It's got to have the, the duty cycle of a race engine. It had to be the reliability of a spacecraft, had to be the durability of a semi, yet had to be lightweight, compact, fuel efficient, safe, reliable and meet FAA certification standards. You know, FAA certification to us is a very key milestone and yet very tough to achieve. The standards are rigorous, the standards are very difficult for a very good reason. When you're flying along, maybe it's nighttime, you're flying along and you got your family in the back seat, you appreciate why FAA regulations are so tough. You want to get there safely, you want to uh, keep your family safe, nothing more important than that to an aviator. But beyond that, FAA certification is a milestone that very few companies have achieved in this industry. That's probably why it's taken so long for another engine to get certified in, in this world. It tells the industry that you're real, that you're a real player, that you, that you really mean business when you, once you get that key thing called that FAA type certificate. And we're so happy we achieved that back in April of, of 2023. Back to uh, the story. For years it was tough. Working out of a hangar, sometimes two to three people, not getting paychecks, begging suppliers for parts. It was a tough road for a long time. Filled with investments sporadically from investors who believed in us, who believed in our vision, believed what we were trying to achieve. You know, I've got a story back from 2008. In fact, I know it was 2008 for a very specific reason. I was at, at an air show uh, down in Florida with a friend of mine who was also an aviator, and he had along a friend who was not in aviation, knew nothing about it, just brought him along to show him the air, for, air show. This guy's name was Dave, and Dave was a financial guy. 
Now, I said 2008 for a reason. What was going on in the world? We were in a financial free fall. The economy was falling apart, worried about jobs, people getting laid off. And we spent the day with this together, and, and his friend was saying, you know, after a while he was looking at this, and he's kind of puzzled, look, he said, you know, Dennis, I don't understand this. Don't these people get it? Don't they know what's going on in the world? They're walking along buying stuff, they're happy, they're looking at airplanes like, like there's nothing going on. And I said, you know, here's what you don't get. There's one word that defines aviation and aviators. It's the word passion. Pilots are passionate about flying. They're passionate about their aircraft. And, and he kind of, kind of guess, kind of got that, but maybe not totally, but that's something if you're a pilot, you'd really get. We are passionate about what we do. And that really defines Delta Hawk. Passion is the word that kept us going through all these tough times. It's in our DNA here at Delta Hawk. We are passionate about general aviation, and we truly believed, and we still believe, this engine is going to change general aviation for the positive, and it's going to change, have a huge positive impact on the environment as well. That drives us. That passion is why we're here, why we stuck it out over all these years, over all these lean times, when it really was a tough, tough to go. So I transitioned to looking for investors uh, in my career, and, and I tell you what, it was tough. It was tough, um, especially North American investors. Uh, they just, they were interested in other things, biotech or whatever, but uh, boy, we kept going, we kept going, trying to find the right, right investors. And finally, in 2014, I was introduced to some local people, Al Rood and his son Chris Rood, who, again, right here from Racine, Wisconsin, I was looking for investors around the world, and right here in Racine, Wisconsin, uh, I, I met Al Rood and his son Chris. Very successful businessmen, they had just sold a business, and just as important, they shared the passion. They shared the passion for general aviation, and they shared the passion for what Delta Hawk is all about. And once they became involved in 2015, they became our primary investors and our world changed. We could hire people, we could pay suppliers, and we could really move this project along. And that's the next chapter of Delta Hawk.